Hey, what's up guys, Luke here today with a video for you. We are a month into 2014. We've seen CES 2014. So today I wanna to talk about the top five tech trends that we're going to see in 2014. And before we even start this video, be sure to hit the like button down below, share it and comment down below. What do you think the top five tech trends of 2014 will be before you hear what mine are? So the list I'm about to give you is a carefully formulated list. I'm sitting here on a couch from 1976. So it's a nice contrast between now and then. There's no order to this list. There's just five things that I think that we are gonna see a lot of in 2014. The first one is smart homes. Now, if you don't know what a smart home is, it's essentially just a way of integrating technology or a smarter way to live into your current home. So for instance, one big thing right now with smart homes is the Nest Learning Thermostat. Nest was actually just acquired by Google for somewhere like two to $3 billion, 2.91, I don't, I don't know the exact number, but it was just acquired by Google for a massive amount of money. But I really see smart homes taking off. I think people are more interested in knowing what is going on. They're, they're interested in seeing numbers. They're interested in, in accessing their homes from remote locations. Rogers here in Canada has a smart home system that you can sign up, you can monitor your cameras, you can monitor motion sensors, everything from your Rogers account from a remote location. I'm trying to make the convergence to a smart home lifestyle. I can't justify spending $300 on a thermostat right now. Uh, the Nest is a cool piece of technology, but it's, it's just $300 right now. Uh, I do have a security system. I live in a condo that is literally my bedroom, this room, an ensuite, and then the bathroom in this room. So it's four rooms, like 500 square feet, and I have two security cameras. There's one up there, uh, and then there's one that's facing the doorway here. So there's two uh, in this room, none in the bedroom, unfortunately. I don't know if too many women would like that. And when I say too many women, I mean my girlfriend. I love you, sweetie. Anyways, the second thing that I think that we're gonna see in 2014 is the uberfication of things. That's what they're calling it. It's essentially the on-demand of things. The fact that I can literally call the pizza guy and he'll come deliver it is so out of whack now. Nobody wants to make any calls. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uberfication, it's this, it's this service called Uber that essentially is you download the smartphone app, you create an account, you open up the app and it'll show you where all the taxi cabs or the black cars or the black SUVs are in your area. You can call it straight from the app. It'll tell you the driver's name, the driver's rating, the driver's phone number. It'll give you a picture of the driver so you know who it is and then that cab will show up right at your door with all of your information and then when you leave the cab you don't even have to pay him. He just types it in and it charges it right to your credit card. So if he was a crappy driver you give him a three-star rating. Actually I gave a driver a three-star rating uh, about a week ago and I, I got an email from Uber earlier this evening that was like how can we make it better. It was a person. It wasn't just a machine. So that's really cool. Other things that are doing that, like right now I have a pizza from Domino's coming. The delivery guy's probably going to interrupt this video. But Domino's has this thing on their website that I know when my pizza was ordered. I know the guy's name that's baking my pizza. I know the guy's name that's quality control checking my pizza. And I can watch my pizza literally go from conception to being made, going through the oven. And then, you know, when uh, the fellow delivers to my drawer, uh, to my door, the, I go check the, the web address for my Domino's pizza and it says delivered. The third thing on my list, you guys saw this all coming, was 4K and Ultra HD. HD. If there's one thing we heard more of anything at CES 2014 this year, it was 4K this, Ultra HD that. If a manufacturer isn't producing a 4K display, they're behind. So now while that I do think 2014 is kind of just breaching the surface on 4K, I don't think that we're going to see any like $500 consumer level Samsung 4K TVs this year. I really do think that 2014 is going to be the year that 4K really kicks off. A lot of YouTubers are shooting in 4K right now. I actually have a 4K camera comparison between the GoPro Hero 4K and the Samsung Note 4K in the works right now. So you'll see that sometime early next week. The only camera that I actually own that shoots 4K right now is the GoPro Hero, and it shoots 4K, I think, at 12 frames a second. However, just like the jump from standard definition to high definition is gonna be pretty pricey. I remember when my dad bought a 50-inch plasma TV back in like 2004, 2005, it was like five or six grand, and now you can get the same TV for maybe two, 300 bucks, so it, it'll come down in price, and I think people will begin to adapt. The fourth tech trend on this list for 2014, and possibly the one that I'm most excited about, is wearable technology. So you've got your Samsung Galaxy Gear, You've got your Apple smartwatch, if it is actually coming, the Pebble Steel, the Fitbit, the Nike Fuel Blend, and of course, Google Glass which I have not yet tried. So in May, when I do the Great American Road Trip, I really wanna meet some of you guys along the way down. If any of you have Google Glass and wanna be in the documentary, hit me up, my email will be down below. The Samsung Galaxy Gear, I'd love to give it another go actually because when I first acquired it, it was not working with any device I had. It only worked with a Note 3. Didn't have access to a Note 3. I actually have a Note 3 somewhere here now. I would love to retry the Galaxy Gear and see what it's like actually being able to integrate it with my smartphone on a daily basis. Now the fifth and final trend on this list, and it's something really cool because I'm seeing a lot more tech YouTubers get into it, and that is car 
car tech. So as you guys know, I have a show on this channel called Auto Tech, where I look at the latest and greatest of new cars. As I said before, I'm shooting an hour episode in May, uh, where I'm taking a 2014 Range Rover Sport across the country from Toronto to Florida. So it's actually an international road trip. Gonna be really awesome. But one thing that I think we're gonna see a lot of this year is more and more people get interested into the technology inside their cars. I don't think people realize how freaking cool some of the technology in their cars is. I was just talking with the uh, PR guy at Dodge, the, or Chrysler, I guess, the other day. And uh, we were talking about, I'm gonna get into a Dodge Ram in a couple weeks. But he was like, you gotta try the new Grand Cherokee because the thing can perpendicularly, not parallel, it can perpendicularly park itself. So that's a technology that is out right now. Really looking forward to uh, taking a look at that. Really looking forward to uh, taking a look at some of the new Ford vehicles. Uh, I'm in a Ford Fiesta ST next week, so it should be really, really cool. And actually the auto show is next week. We are gonna have a kick-ass video for the auto show. My dad's bringing like four or five of his clients for his business, and I'm bringing three or four of uh, my buddies from high school down. We're gonna go to the auto show, and then we're actually going to the VIP event afterwards. It's like ludicrously expensive to go, but we got free tickets somehow. Gonna be really awesome. That's enough rambling, and those are my top five tech trends of 2014. I really think that 2014 is gonna be a kick-ass year in technology. We're gonna have lots of cool events, lots of cool technology coming out. Probably my favorite thing that I'm looking forward to this year is a consumer edition of Google Glass. And I think that I'm most looking forward to that one above anything else is just because I haven't tried it yet. So maybe once I try it, the kind of like nostalgia will wear off, but I would really love to try it. And I think that's the one I'm most looking forward to getting my hands on. Anyways, guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to like this video and share it with your friends. If you have any different ideas for the top five tech trends of 2014. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the Google Plus orgy down below. If this is the first time you're checking out the channel, be sure to subscribe. We've got lots of awesome and cool videos on it. And until next time, my name is Luke DeMarco, and I will see you in the next video.